Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. So, just a small video here, just an update on my hydraulic press. Uh, I got some more parts. I actually got some uh, really cool parts off of uh, one of the elevator companies. Uh, they were throwing a bunch of uh, stuff out and uh, I decided that I wasn't going to use a crank to uh, lift the table on my press. Uh, I'm going to use hydraulics. I got it here and uh, I'm going to use hydraulics to uh, raise the table. So I got a cylinder today here. This cylinder will go uh, 38 inches. Um, fully extended from pin to pin. And that's basically what I needed to raise the, uh, the uh, table up for the, uh, the press. I got a few other things. I've got these uh, stainless steel rollers I got off the uh, elevator mechanics. These are for, uh, I'll give you a close up of the uh, of this stuff here. These are uh, what hold up those big loading dock doors. You know, they're about uh, eight or 900 pounds. Uh, they were throwing these out. I asked him if I could go through his uh, scrap bin and I pulled out uh, four of these wheels here, stainless steel, and some real heavy duty uh, uh, link chain. Uh, I've got, uh, I think about eight sections of this stuff here. I had to clean it up because they got some special grease on there that just stays sticky as hell. Anyways, I'll give you a close-up of uh, this stuff as well. Got the plates, uh, got the plates done for the motor, uh, for the uh, the uh, spool valve. Man, I should get this done last night. This is the top plate for the for the press. So I've got that milled out to fit on top of the little loop that's on top of the cylinder. So uh, we got that done yesterday. Um, working on these uh, oh, high tensile stainless steel um, um, rods to hold the uh, that plate on top of the cylinder. I've done a single point threading on both ends, two inches, and uh, I've got a piece chucked up in the uh, lathe right now, and uh, it's just threading. Um, single point. I'm using a three quarter sixteen thread on this. And uh, threads are good. Um, so I've got, I gotta get another rod. I'm short one rod, but I'll give you a, a shot of uh, what I'm doing with, it, with this, this type of chain and, and, uh, and those rollers. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, so here's that, uh, that heavy duty link chain I got. I got that, uh, that was a, a freebie taking out of their scrap bin. Uh, still in great shape. Um, I cleaned it up and I got these uh, stainless steel uh, chain rollers. I've got four of these. They're going to be mounted on the side of the press to raise the uh, raise the table up and down. And uh, just give me a second here and we'll go over the press. I'll share where I'm going to install these. So this is about where these rollers are going to go. Just so they clear the supports and uh, then a, a fairly big size pin is going to be here between the uh, the two, uh, two parts of the table and uh, that chain will link up to here and then a hydraulic cylinder that one there will be mounted on the bottom there uh, got to make some some gussets to hold that in place and uh, pin it and uh, yeah and that's what I got the uh, cylinder in got it mounted it's uh, sitting on that sitting on that plate now it's all welded up at the top there I put uh, lots of stringer welds on that so uh, should move but uh, yeah that's it for the uh, press update here uh, I'm just gonna do a uh, single point threading on this I put a small relief here where I'm gonna stop do the other end and uh, that'll be it. I gotta get one more piece of uh, stainless. Uh, I'm missing missing some. So I've got my dial indicator set up on here for when I'm uh, adjusting my threads and stuff. So anyways, guys, that's it for that part. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get this all indicated here and, uh, and we'll start uh, threading. Got the speed set for about 60 RPM. Like I said, set for uh, uh, 16 threads per inch. Uh, got everything set up like I did the other ones. So let's continue on. Let me just get the oil can here so I'm not in the way. So you can see, it's going to be a bit of boring as usual.
There's something my dial indicator here for zero. Now we're going to do what we call a little scratch pass just to make sure the threads are okay. We're going to wait till the dial indicator hits one here the, for the for this line here. It's just relief, I can just stop the slide or the way uh, from going any further, back or out. Put it back to zero. And let's just do a check here. Yeah, yeah, she's good. Alright. So, let's do another one here. And add five foul. Go. Lots of oil. Lots of oil. Those little strings off that stainless are so damn sharp. Okay guys, I'm going to try a fit. Okay, that's the ticket. All right, guys, so that's it for uh, this little segment. So I've got the, uh, what three pins I had in, so they're uh, all bolted up. They're not tightened down. I'm gonna torque them equally. So I just gotta make one more rod. I was out of material. The stuff I had laying around the shop, uh, had to use it for, um, something to do with the uh, chemicals or something so anyways so we got one more rod to make and that's it and then I can hook up the hydraulics like I said I've got the pump got the hoses I just got to get the these uh, pieces crimped on I've got to mount the uh, the uh, wheels these idler wheels here for the chain and uh, and then uh, start doing the uh, the actual table itself so that's it for tonight, guys. All right, hang in there. So we're back here. Um, I forgot to mention that uh, I made these little uh, beams. And what these beams do, they kind of sit in between the uh, uprights here. So I made it uh, sort of telescopic so we can, uh, so the wheel actually floats in the middle and I can put these in between these uh, uprights here and I got a uh, half inch hole drilled on both sides uh, as well as there so yeah these little this was I guess a uh, just an experiment and it seemed to hold the weight so 
worked out okay. So I gotta make four more of those. And uh, yeah, these wheels just kind of set on there and the idler sit between because I couldn't find anything strong enough without drilling like a like a one inch pin to hold uh, this plate here. And uh, with a one inch steel plate on top, it's gonna be pretty heavy. Anyways guys, so that's it for tonight. Okay guys, we're back. So that'll be it for uh, for today. Um, tonight, today, I don't even know what time it is. Um, I gotta get uh, some more material. Uh, I gotta pop these bearings out, put some new fresh bearings. I feel one that's got a little, uh, a little bit of a, a shake in it. Not too bad, but ah, I got it off. I'm gonna change the bearings. Gotta make the supports, and uh, and then uh, I'll bring you back. Anyways, I'd like to say thank you to all my uh, subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, you guys have a great night. Bye for now.